Who wants to get things underway today? We'll start with John Cross. Hello, Graham. Disappointing and frustrating result for you today. Yeah, of course. Yeah, always is to lose um, to lose a game like um, like we did. We often puffed, I thought, but I think you can see the difference in the two teams in terms of confidence, in terms of points that they've got, in terms of structure and work together. Um, we're we're not in a uh, I would say not in a fantastic moment at the, uh, as we sp as we speak. And um, in the end, I think as much as it's not nice to say, I think Arsenal deserve to win the game and with a better team. Um, overall so we have to take that and use it as motivation to improve is that gap down to more confidence and belief at the moment rather than quality where, where do you put the balance oh, it, it's i don't think it's one thing mm. clearly confidence is is higher you know they've got the points and they've they've got off to a really good start like i said they've been working together for i think three three years or so so they've got understanding of of each other we're at the start of our process, had a few problems in terms of injuries to key players that they have managed to stay clear of, so lots of things. Um, it's not uh, one simple solution, unfortunately. OK, at the back, Neil. Um, I don't want to sound harsh, but it really looked like the players didn't know what they were doing. Uh, I don't think that's true. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, but like I said, I, I think you've got to say that Arsenal were, are ahead of us in terms of where they've been working and how long they've been working together. And they've got more points. They've got a good confidence, a good structure. And like I said at the start, of my first answer that, that we have to say that that's fair. Um, our players, you know, we had an idea of what we wanted to do, but we couldn't execute, and the opponent was good. Okay, in the middle. Well, we looked at the game as a, from a, a training perspective. When I speak with Mason, he, he likes to play, he likes to be in a rhythm of playing games. Always you can reflect after the event and, and make a different decision. But um, like I said, Mason likes to play and he likes to get in that rhythm. Nizar. Uh, a lot of people are focused on Aubrey in this game, but um, there's a lack of chance creation generally. Is that, is that some sort of problem that you need to kind of work out and fix for the last few games? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I mean, um, uh, again, there's two teams on the pitch, and I think Arsenal defend well. They uh, press well. They make it difficult for you to create chances. I think that's what the top teams do, and I think Arsenal at the moment are a, are a top team. So, like I said, I don't, I don't like to say that, but that's probably the reality. And when that's the case, we need to do better in terms of how we create our chances, because otherwise you're zooming in on individuals, and it's a team team issue. As I said, if the opponent does it well, they, they press well. Um, we had some opportunities in terms of 3v3s and 4v4s in the final third, but that, 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 that last pass. Um, and then if I'm looking at how we build our attacks generally, we're, we're not as fluid and, and, and in a good enough place as I would like us to be. And there's lots of reasons for that, <coughs> but clearly that's where we have to improve as well. Liam Twimmy. Well, I think that would help us. That's going to help us. We'll have some two or three key players back um, and a couple of other ones on the way closer to being back. That's just how it's been. We've had a bit of a, a bit of a perfect storm in terms of lots of games and injuries along the way, but we have to deal with that. And like I said, focus on how we can improve the team. And um, as you can see from today, there's a bit of work to do. Sky Sports. Graham, how is Ben Chilwell uh, mentally, especially after the no, he's disappointed, you can imagine. It's a blow to him. Um, he's going to miss the World Cup, which is bad news for any player. There's no, no time scale. Um, we just have to help him get fit and help him be strong and be ready when, when, he's, when he's right. Yeah, we have to we have to look after him as as, as we do all our players. It's a uh, it's a blow. Uh, we've managed we tried to manage Ben in terms of the games he's had in terms of not playing him too often, and making sure that 
the progression's there, but in the end, um, it's a it's a blow for him and a blow for us, and we have to look after him and make sure he's right and fit and strong. Okay, Sorry, last. Graham, can, we just right, can we just go there because he's next? And then no, no, we'll no, finish no. with you, Matt. Okay, go, Matt. Um, you seem to be signalling at one stage in the game that you thought Bukayo Saka was diving. I just wanted to check that you were signalling that. I think only the one, I think there was one action that was a little bit. Um, uh, Contentious, shall we say, but I don't think he's he's that type of player. Okay, last question. Yeah, I'm obviously glowing there about Arsenal, as you might be aware, it's 150 games now for Mikel Arteta. <coughs> the time it's taken to get that performance is that a reminder to supporters, to the club, of, of the value of patience and, and that it might take a, a while with the project you're working on? Yeah, but it's not for me to say. I mean, that's for you guys to make those assessments, and uh, I've been here eight weeks and. It's a lot's happened. Uh, we've had a lot to deal with, and I'm sure if you look at the Arsenal story and where they are now, as to where they were two years ago or one year ago, it's slightly different. And I'm sure at times Mikel's getting pelters, and that's how it is. That's the job. That's the life, and we have to deal with that. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.